Good morning, my little gems. Welcome back. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine at your home. I am Reena Ma'am. Yesterday we learned alphabet E. Now once again let's revise alphabet E through our dictionary book. Capital E, small e, E for egg, E for eagle, E for elephant, E for eraser, E for engine, E for ear, E for earth, E for earrings, E for eight, E for envelope, E for elbow, E for eyebrow, E for eye. Now kids, let's see an activity of alphabet E. Kids, here in this activity, I have taken some objects and on this plate, I have taken flashcard of alphabet E. In this activity, we have to segregate alphabet E objects and keep them, uh, keep them here on this plate. So kids, let's start this activity. Tell me kids, what is this? Yes, very good kids. This is an arrow. Does an arrow start with alphabet E? No, an arrow starts with alphabet A. So we will keep this arrow aside. Kids, tell me, what is this? Yes, this is an elephant. Does an elephant start with alphabet E? Yes, an elephant starts with alphabet E. So we will keep this elephant here on this plate. Tell me kids, what is this? Yes, this is a ball. Does a ball start with alphabet E? No, very good kids. A ball starts with alphabet B. So we will keep this ball aside. Now kids, tell me what is this? Yes, this is an eraser. Does an eraser start with alphabet E? Yes kids, an eraser starts with alphabet E. So we will keep this eraser here on this plate. Kids, tell me what is this? Yes, this is a car. Does a car start with alphabet E? No, very good kids. A car starts with alphabet C. So we will keep this car aside. Now kids, what is this? Yes, this is number 8. Does number 8 start with alphabet E? Yes, very good kids. And number 8, number 8 starts with alphabet E. So we will keep this number 8 here on this plate. Tell me kids, what is this? Yes, this is a drum. Does a drum start with alphabet E? No, very good kids. And a drum starts with alphabet D. So we will keep this drum aside. Now kids, tell me, what is this? Yes, these are pair of earrings. Does earring start with alphabet E? Yes, an earring starts with alphabet E. So, we will keep these earrings on the plate. Now kids, let's revise all these objects. Capital E, 
small e, e for elephant, e for eight, e for earrings, e for eraser. Once again kids, I will show you how to write alphabet E in your notebook. Kids, here I have written today's date 4.7.20 alphabet E. In English notebook, there are four lines, two red lines and two blue lines. Now kids, from red line, make a standing line till second blue line. From red line, make a sleeping line. From first blue line, make a slipping line. And from second blue line, make one more slipping line. Capital E. For small e, we will start from these two blue lines. Make a slanting line. A little bit go up. Make a C curve. Touch second blue line and a little bit go up. Small e. From red line, make a standing line till second blue line. From red line, make a slipping line. From first blue line, make one more slipping line. And from second blue line, make another slipping line. Capital E. For small e, we will start from these two blue lines. Make a slanting line, go a little bit up. Make a C curve, turn second blue line and go a little bit up. Small e. From red line, make a standing line till second blue line. From red line, make a slipping line. From first blue line, make one more slipping line. And from second blue line, make another slipping line. Capital E. For small e, we will start from these two blue lines. Make a slanting line, go a little bit up. Make a C curve to the second blue line and go a little bit up. Small e. From red line, make a standing line to the second blue line. From red line, make a slipping line. From first blue line, make one more slipping line. From sec second blue line, make another slipping line. Capital E. For small e, we will start from these two blue lines. Make a slanting line, a little bit go up. Make a C curve towards second blue line and once again go a little bit of small e. From red line, make a standing line till second blue line. From red line, make a slipping line. From first blue line, make one more slipping line. From second blue line, make another slipping line. Capital E. For small e, we will start from these two blue lines. Make a slanting line, go a little bit up. Make a C curve to the second blue line and go a little bit up. Small e. From red line, make a standing line to the second blue line. From red line, make a slipping line. From first blue line, make another slipping line. And from second blue line, make one more slipping line. Capital E. For small e, we will start from these two blue lines. Make a slanting line, go a little bit up. Make a C curve to the second blue line. And once again, go a little bit of small e. Kids, in this way, you have to write alphabet E in both the columns. Kids, I hope. With the help of this session, you have learned alphabet E. Take care kids. Bye-bye.